Hello gamers, it's the Cav, and this is my guide to defeating Father Gascoigne. I'm showing you a couple of things. First is the music box, second is the threaded cane. This is a, a, a second run through for me, but this really is a guide for the first time round that you encounter this amazing boss. You can see I'm at level 159, I've got the maximum visceral attack power rune at 30% and visceral attacks restore at 300. I'm going for a skill blood tinge build. The skill level is going to help the visceral attacks a lot. So I'm going to do a lot of damage on these visceral attacks, a lot more than you'd normally expect on a first run through. I'm including this cinematic just because it's just set the scene for this game. This boss is quite early. He's really the, the second boss if you've beaten the, the Cleric Beast. And he's so hard. I nearly gave up Bloodborne. This guy was so hard. I'd not quite got my head around a lot of the metrics, the parry system and visceral attacks. And this boss forces you into learning those. And the sense of satisfaction when you beat him is immense. So... I've included the cane just because it was my first choice of weapon um, and I'm going to show you a way that you can actually buy yourself a bit of time and sort of kite him through his first couple of phases because you're going to want these on the reins or their, their second extension so the whip form of the cane, uh, the long form of the axe or the transformed saw cleaver. Now if you just run to your left you can literally kind of kite him around these gravestones with the tree here and once you've extended, you can hit him, just pick him off with little bits, and you can get him literally through his first and second phase doing this, if you want. The reason for this is because it's so congested. There's these tombstones everywhere, there's trees, there's invisible roots that you're going to get caught on. Much better to get him here out in the open, so you can really start to parry him effectively. And there's the first one doing quite a lot of power with the claw mark. He's gonna go straight into phase two where he'll extend his ax. This is much more difficult to parry. He'll kinda of do his double swipe there. You can interrupt it. If you leave it too late, he's gonna hit you with it like that. Bear in mind that you can still get some single hits in. I should have only gone for two or three there and then dodged around him. He'll do a jumping attack. He'll do a thrust attack but it still leaves little windows of opportunity. If you get round him here, you can see you could take him there. Here's his double come in. Try and interrupt it. Fail. Get hit by it. But really, you're waiting for his, like, his overhand, which is coming. That's easier to parry. Again, I'm doing a lot of damage on the visceral, so he's now into his third form. Now, this is where the music box comes in. I'm actually doing it a little bit too early here. Too early, he's not affected him, and he's straight into fairly vicious swiping attacks. And this is where panic sets in. Let's just try again. See if we can time the music box a little bit better. Just wait a few seconds. Try it now. His jump attack, which you can just walk under. And there he is. It gives you a nice big window to go and do a fully charged R2 for some reason not gone into the visceral there but that's okay this just shows how he is gonna cut through these gravestones like they're made out of balsa wood he's basically a hairy clawy bulldozer get out of his range and get back up here on the stairs he's gonna be fast he's gonna attack you the window for parry is tiny it's very difficult to get so when you're up here on the stairs you can actually use it to your advantage to gain a bit of space. You can see here I'm like one hit away from dying. So is he, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of run around for a bit and just show you a few more of his moves. But when you drop down here onto the roof and then down back into the arena, he's going to take a long time to come and get you. It buys you critical time. Get the files in, compose yourself, stop the jitters. He's still not even arrived. Here he comes running around the corner now. So I'll just get him up here again. I'm just going to show you another couple of um, openings. Those swipes. You can hit him there. Just take a bullet to the face for good measure. There's another one coming up. A big wind up. You can get him behind him there. He's about to do his jump. Shouldn't have fired. You can just turn around and charge up an attack for this. Same there. 
but we're going to have to just deal with him the old-fashioned way. Again, he's going to thrust, so you can do a wind-up attack. Gives him a stagger. Finish him off. Now, I hope that was useful. Feel free to re-watch so you can learn some of those uh, parry windows. Again, you've got the option for the tombstones to cheese him into that phase where you can then use the music box. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. I will see you again for the next one.